You sing in the movie Strange Magic, and I do. you have quite a good voice. Thank you. This is something that you like to do in your personal life, singing? I, I mean, are you a karaoke person? I am a huge karaoke person. I actually have a karaoke lounge in my basement. Uh, I'll go to that alone occasionally. You have a karaoke lounge in your basement? Yeah, with disco balls and Right, ja Japanese business. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> Drinking glumly. Very right. sticky, um, yes. But also, but I have friends that just will make me sing wherever I am. You know, I'm friends with uh, Robin Wright, who's on yes. House of Cards. Yes, and, you know. yeah. Uh, and wherever we are, she'll just make me sing. We could be at a bar or a hotel lobby or we're out somewhere and there's a live band and she will tell the singer to get off the stage and she'll just put me up there. Really, so she this sort of happened. puts you in these situations which could potentially be embarrassing, I would think. Potentially, yeah. Uh, oddly enough, it's really worked out in my favor. There's actually um, a YouTube video of me singing um, for her and George Clooney at the Venice Film Festival. Oh. <laughs> and she just shooed this singer off stage and she put me up there and I uh, decided to sing Four Non Blondes, What's Up? And it actually, Which one is that? It's the one that's uh, I want to trick you into singing it so yeah, the yeah, producer has you know, to pay for hey, it. Hey, yeah, 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 That one, does anybody, no one's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> He doesn't even need the karaoke. Shabba right. shabba That's exactly right. I don't know the lyrics to anything, <laughs> so it always becomes shabba shabba. Yeah. Very quick. Well, as long as you sell it, it's fine. When, so... I, when they sing the national anthem, I'm like shabba shabba shabba. Yeah. What does Eddie Izzard say? Just keep confirming and denying. And <laughs> Confirm like, and yeah, deny. It's fine. Yeah. So wait. So you're there, and uh, she singing. made you go up, and this is the Venice Film Festival, yes. so it's very public. It's very Everyone's public. Everyone's looking at you. Everyone's looking. You're probably I'm, dressed up. I'm in a gown. Right. And um, actually, I have a bone to pick with. George Clooney because that night he said it was tradition that uh, you know the, uh, at the end of the night the cast would jump into the pool, and so after I sang I was I was kind of on this this high this adrenaline rush so I went great let's do it now and I jumped in the pool in my gown and no one followed me I was trying to get Paul Giamatti in and he was like no um, so wait George Clooney kind of promised you if you go I'll me. go yeah. yeah oh no he said the whole cast was gonna do it and I ended up in there alone but I just went oh whatever and I was like having this amazing cathartic moment floating in this pool and this gown and then the security guard's head just came into frame and the moment was ruined and I got in trouble and I got I got kicked out it's embarrassing to be tasered in a pool I think that's always <laughs> yeah and I had to return that dress to the designer and I don't think they knew until probably right now that that happened, so. Right, they're finding out now. They didn't no. get it back when it was? They did, no, they got it back. So it was yeah. actually a testament to how good the designer was, but, because um, it, it didn't get rubber. ruined. It was made of, <laughs> it was made of rubber.